Heal Yourself with Sunlight is the title of your book that goes against current thinking in terms of the value of sunlight. Mm -hmm. It used to be called heliotherapy, was yes. what you said. Yes. Could you tell us about that? Yes, uh, Heal Yourself with Sunlight here is just a natural phenomenon that most people are not even aware of that are exposed to the sun. We're scared of the sun. We're scared of the sun now because you know, when they first introduced sunglasses, which by the way mm -hmm. started triggering a massive increase of cancers. Now what people say well, has sun, sun, exactly. you know, sunglasses to do with cancer? Well it has everything to do with cancer. You are filtering out certain rays of the sun which are supposed to enter. You're, you're blocking them out and the pineal gland which receives the, the light uh, in a different color formation, that means the entire spectrum of light. Um, it is necessary for, for the body to have that light. That's why we have a lens that breaks down the white light into seven colors. It mm -hmm. gets encoded with, these colors get encoded with chemicals in the pineal gland and then they pass to the different parts of the body which are needed for basic metabolic, metabolic processes. Mm -hmm. And uh, you make blood, you know, red light is involved in that. You make bile, green, uh, green light is involved in that. So there are many different you know, you know, things that we need. Now also you have to allow UV light to come in. Uh, when you do that, you are producing a hormone in the brain that is responsible for um, the melanin production uh, mm -hmm. in your skin. So that's where your skin pr uh, protection occurs. If you are not uh, producing that, your skin becomes susceptible to even sunlight. So if you're not getting the UVs through your yes. eyes and the pineal gland. Let's say you wear sunshades, mm -hmm. you are, the body thinks it's dark outside. Okay. And then it doesn't make that hormone that is responsible for producing okay. the melanin to protect your skin. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. So the other thing is, you know, and the, the light is needed. Uh, there is now research to show that every cell communicates with every other cell through light. So not just that we have an aura around us, which is now also proven through certain you know, methods of, uh, you know, certain cameras that can mm -hmm. you know, see that and expose that. We have an electromagnetic field. You are an electrical machine, if you mm, want to say. True. We have electricity running our heart. So our heart is producing actually electricity while it pumps. So it's a quite an, an incredible machine. So you have a field, an electromagnetic field around you, and you can disturb that. Um, and the sun is very necessary to keep that field going. You cut out, you, know, you cut you know, yourself off from the sun. It's like the withering plant that will, you know, mm -hmm. you know, basically you put it in a cellar, it will wither, it will not grow. So like that, our cells require sunlight to grow and replace, you know, reproduce themselves so that you have a new you know, body constantly you know, created mm -hmm. over and over and over again. Every year you have changed all the cells in your body. Every single cell, there's nothing old left in you. But if you don't have a good amount of sun exposure, that you know, normal process of replicating yourself is basically becoming disrupted and you wither away. We call it aging, like premature aging. Uh -huh. And so then the person feels weaker and not energized. Um, there are studies after studies, which you can read up in, in my sunlight book, Heal Yourself with Sunlight, um, that show that every disease, uh, including severe illnesses like MS, mm -hmm. MS is a multiple sclerosis where the myelin sheet, the fatty sheet around the nerves, it diminishes and that damages the nerves and then you have no, you, know, you have diminished motor sensory uh, okay. you know, responses. So your body is, uh, after a while you end up in a wheelchair and then you may even die from it. So it's a very common thing now because we have been told stay out of the sun. Right. Now the, peop the, con the people in Canada have the highest rate besides Scotland, where it's only one-fourth of the normal sunlight that, let's say, uh, here in South Carolina, you, you would experience. So the southern, uh, the, the, the southern states have the lowest rates of MS. The northern states have the highest rates of MS. So that should tell us everything about you mm -hmm. know, the need of sunlight, because if it can destroy the myelin sheet by not being in the sun, Mm -hmm. then uh, you, you can destroy all kinds of other things. And again, low vitamin D among all MS sufferers. 
So vitamin D plays a major role in the uh, susten sustenance of the, um, the myelin sheet, the nerves in the body. Mm -hmm. And once you affect the nervous system, you basically affect everything. Mm 